Welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Michael Hyman. So much time and so little to do. And the first person to email us where that quote came from wins a prize. Let's get started. First, us Thursday's edition of Fun Fat Friday. Mr. Walk was rehearsing for the play, so... Hi, I'm Miss Gettle. I'm filling in for Mr. Rockwood's Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that originally ketchup, the ketchup that we know today, was kind of made for a, like a medicine? Back in the 1830s, Dr. John Cook Bennett decided that tomatoes were actually a good cure for things like jaundice, indigestion, and even diarrhea. So he came up with this idea to put some bot bottled ketchup out there, and he didn't call it ketchup necessarily. He smashed some tomatoes, put it in a bottle, and sold it to his patients. A few years later, he decided to get together with a couple of other doctors, and they decided to make a tomato pill. So that went on for a couple of years, just a few though, because later on in the 1840s, a couple other people decided to make a tomato pill. but. There was actually no tomatoes in those pills. They were actually just laxatives. This is Miss Gettle for Fun Fact Friday, filling in for Mr. Rockwood. How'd I do, Mr. Rockwood? Thanks, Miss Gettle. And come back anytime. Now we have Mrs. Norby with some impressive news. Hello, HMS. I'm here to announce and congratulate the four Hopkinton Middle School students who are winners of the 2017 Boston Marathon Essay Contest. They are Aaliyah O'Hara, Margaret Joyce, Layla Frederick, and Owen Fitzpatrick. They have been invited along with their families and will be recognized for their efforts at the Boston Marathon Wreath Ceremony held Thursday night, tonight at the Massachusetts State House in the Great Hall. Well done and congratulations. We're all very proud of you. Great job, folks. That's awesome. Next up, we have another special announcement. Hi, my name is Luke. Hi, my name is Soleil. Hi, my name is Madison. Today, the Hopkinton Middle School is observing the National Day of Silence. The National Day of Silence is a national day of action in which students across the country take a vow of silence to call attention to the silencing effect of anti-LGBT bullying and harassment in schools. The Day of Silence has become the largest single-led action towards creating safer schools for all, regardless of sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression. Over 100 students at HMS have signed up to participate in a Pledge of Silence today. These students will be holding up one of these cards to explain why they have taken a vow of silence for the school day. Students do have a right to participate in the Day of Silence, but it is important to remember that you do not have the right to remain silent if a teacher asks you to participate during class. If you want to show support today, homeroom teachers have these stickers for you to wear as a show of support. Just ask your homeroom teacher if you do. Thanks for participating! Thanks for sharing that information. Coming up next is A Minute with a Teacher. Hi, my name is M. Scheingold and I teach 8th grade social studies on the white team. I teach history because I genuinely believe that the best way to solve some of the issues in the world is to learn about them and that if we don't learn history, we genuinely are doomed to repeat it. I decided to teach in Hopkinton because it's a really nice town. I actually like it so much here that I even moved to Hopkinton. One of the more memorable moments in my class is when students were forming statues with their bodies and a group of girls decided that they were going to represent medieval medicine by forming the, a constellation with their bodies. And they did this in the form of a leech. So they were the constellation of a leech. I have two dogs named Fox and Freya, and my favorite hobby is taking them hiking around Lake Whitehall. My favorite TV show is Supernatural. If I could add one thing to the school, it would have to be free hot coffee for all teachers every morning ready when we get here. Thanks, M. Chingold. And let's make some time for some teacher appreciating. As you walk in the classroom, you can see the wild Mrs. O'Connell in her natural habitat. You look at her and can see the confidence radiating from her soul. She takes out her lightsaber and uses the force to face an extremely hard task. 
teaching seventh grade biology. Mrs. O'Connell, also known as extremely cool Jedi Master, possesses the dominant trait for kindness. She's an amazing, intelligent, and lighthearted teacher by day, and an awesome Jedi Master that saves the galactic empire by night. As a Hufflepuff, she is one of the most caring and humorous teachers I have met. If you don't understand something, she doesn't just say the concepts to you. She draws a diagram on the board and explains it to you individually. If she didn't take the time to help me understand everything, I would still be confused on what a mitochondria is. So I only have two words to say to Mrs. O'Connell. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin, and thank you to all of our teachers for what they do for us. Now, let's have the longest ever birthday squall. That's all the time we have for. Check us out at hcam.tv slash HMSTV. And we'll be back after vacation with, with all your favorites for everyone here. Thanks for watching and study hard. <laughs>